I'm happy to see that we have two Basel speakers here. Um, I'm married. I have a baby that is 2.5 two years old, and you will see her later. She plays a big role in back to where we are today. What is after Web 2.0? We are in 2010. Something happened out there. There are some things that are obvious. Everything becomes more mobile. When I just what I was always standing in the back. How many people are using their iPhones and iPads um, to do things, to communicate, to watch up, to make notes, whatever, is simply fantastic. And before, perhaps five years ago, I would say, well, oh, they didn't like the presentations. I think not. They like it, but they use the tool to, they use the iPhone in this case, to add on um, the information or notes or communicate back home or perhaps Twitter what they hear. I don't know. Multimedia, of course, uh, an old thing, multi-device, it goes. Um, over many, many different devices. So uh, if it's your mobile phone or if it's your um, digital camera or if it's your laptop, never mind. But there is more, much, much, much more. So be prepared to adjust your corporate policies and positions and competency dictionaries for what comes in the future. What is Web 3.0? Now, I want to show you some samples iPhone. I don't think anybody would have ever foreseen that Apple could overnight really reinvent the mobile phone industry. Having Sony, having uh, Motorola, trying and researching for many years and coming up with more and more innovative products, iPhone came out and just blew them all away. Now, I will show you a movie from my baby. Um, this is my baby Kira. She's two and a half years old. And please, just to tell you, I'm not a, how to say, my baby is not a tech freak. She does play Lego as well. I just wanted to try out if what I think happened with technology right now is true. And so I gave her my mobile phone in hand. And this is an application download for three years old. And obviously, she looks behind. She likes it. She plays with it. She understands how it is. And it's pretty abstract. This is now building a little, um, it's like a puzzle, but you're building a, um, a train that grows with building it. Then I thought, OK, this is a game aimed for her. What happens if I give her a game that is a bit more complicated? And um, this is actually for six years old. And again, she tried it out. I didn't explain anything. And she started to play, and she found pretty fast out how it works. Then I thought, OK, what's about if I give her a standard application from the iPhone? So I gave her the photo album. She had never seen that before, and look what she does. <laughs> it just comes natural. Now, of course, like all fathers, I might believe, oh, baby genius must be at home. <laughs> But see my computer, that's my wife's pink Sony. My wife is Sony addicted, so she, she goes brand. She goes not through, um, how to say, other things than she just likes Sony. So I took her high, very expensive Sony mobile phone and gave it to Kira. Now look what happened. It's the photo application from Sony. And I tell you, she hates it. <laughs> And she returns it very fast back to daddy. That's the <laughs> This gentleman who has the iPad, um, he said something very true. When you look at the iPad, you will see when you look at um, a little book, there is when you scrap with the finger, you see the paper turning. Now, most of people who see that say, well, that's rubbish. I mean, this is technology, it doesn't need to be paper. But I tell you, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel reading a book. And so that's where is the, 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 the success. So let's have a look. This is purely promotional movie of, a little bit changed, that's me, um, of the whole iPad. And I think just through looking at it, it really shows you, and I'm not an Apple salesman, so just, you see, I'm, I'm not using an iMac, I'm, I'm using a PC. But it's such an innovative tool that comes so natural, it's so in, intuitive in the usage, that it just changed everything and makes it much more fun, much more approachable. 
By the way, you might have heard that Apple just took over Microsoft yesterday in the, uh, as the most successful <laughs> valuable technology, so they must make something right. But still, I don't want, as I said, I don't want to, to, to only speak for um, Apple. There is a whole development of new technology. Microsoft is there too with their product Surface. So this is uh, just a huge iPhone or a huge iPad. It's a touch technology again, and it's just a table. This right now is just a photo application, but this is just at the beginning. It's ready for whatever you do in your business to be used as an innovative technology, being it for sales, being it for teaching, be it for whatever. It's just simply, it's fun, it's easy, and it works with the real objects and enhances them. One of the most fantastic tools that just comes out now, uh, again, it's open source, it can be used, it's developed by MIT, um, are those um, siftables. There are small interactive computers with a display, wireless communication and motion sensing, and it's really only your Im imagination which could um, 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 hinder that you make fantastic applications for it. This, for example, is a mixing of color. This one is reacting of different faces together. There are mathematical applications there. There are um, color applications. There are a lot of toys in there. People are just trying out these things, but they um, certainly, I am begging with you, when we meet again in one year, there is one killer application using those tools. They are just far too cool that not to be used for something. But okay, the biggest, biggest, biggest topic out there right now, you can't have escaped it if you read the news, is AR. AR, augmented reality, you see here, Google Trend always showing very nicely what is hip and what is not hip. So uh, AR right now, big, big in the news, everybody talks about it. What is AR? AR works with any device that has a connection to the internet, has a camera, and has a geospatial um, um, intelligence, so it knows where are you. With this, you can overlay physical information with digital information. In this case, you see a house and you get information about um, that this house, how much it costs or the energy values that it needs, whatever the application serves for. Now, I show you some of the samples here. This one is an AR application working with a, um, a marker. So you take the marker, it's perhaps difficult to see, and then you get a 3D object. This one shows um, about alternative energies, and so it brings you something in hand. And uh, uh, I tell you, when I showed that to my students at IMI, it was really the first time that I got 32 wows in the room. And I say, how do you do that? And I want to do that too. And it just gave the whole attention to it. And you can make really cool stuff with it. Or here, um, for the ladies here, um, uh, um, um, this is an application that works the same way, but you can just try out different dresses and um, you can uh, play with it. It doesn't need any software to be downloaded. It's a website and then you start playing. And um, I just wanted to show you, it really works. I got my wife, and that was really only thanks to Ted. She would otherwise hate it, but she was okay to come on the movie and show it if it really works. And so it works exactly the same way. You hold a marker in front, and then you can choose the different dresses. Or here, another augmented reality application available for the iPhone, where it's more a touristic application. You just walk around uh, the part, and it shows you whatever restaurants or shops or cultural things, and overlays it, or it brings a link to reviews, or it brings a link to Wikipedia. Uh, by the way, there is a gentleman here in the room who develops such applications, so you might want to talk with him if you want to see that. Now, at the very, very, very first slide, I, I, I told you one of my objectives was as well to give you a, a hint what you will buy for your kids for Christmas. And um, so you might have thought what you will buy is the new V, but the new V is as out as Mr. Woods. Um, <laughs> because the problem of the V is it still has something that you have to hold in hand. Now look again, Microsoft going ahead. This is Microsoft Natale coming out, and this works without any gaming console. And this comes out this Christmas. And I guess your kids will ask for that one. And the possibilities are huge. And the interesting thing about the Wii as well as what Natale will do, it opens a new market. The gaming market was so far not very of interest to women. Women didn't like 
game is like beating up uh, orcs and uh, uh, traveling with cars around uh, virtual circles. But such games where you can be interactive, where you can do things, you can touch things, and it goes further. You will see here there is an application that's just a virtual Facebook application, again linked to a shopping experience. And so it's the same thing you saw before, but within the game. And so it recognizes voice, it recognizes uh, movements, you can play with the family, so this is uh, um, kind of deal, no deal, or a um, uh, millionaire's game that you can play with it. The last one, and here I need Simon. The name? Yes. Uh, Prada, Prada Mystery. Yeah, Prada Mystery, MIT, Indian born, he is really the guru of augmented reality. What you see here is all things that he has de developed. Again, the fantastic thing, all these technologies are open source. So you only need a guy like this guy here in the room who can take it and make your idea happen and you have the same appliances there. And different from Facebook where you are behind, here you are now in the middle of it. But okay, like on Facebook and social networking, like ongoing discussions on peer-to-peer -peer music downloads, like almost philosophical questions on open source and free software, there is of course the evil out there. Specifically, if you combine AR with social networks, you will get some strange stories that we certainly will have to discuss. But there are just some groovy um, applications. So this is a cemetery application that actually you put on a cemetery and then you get a message from the person who has departed. It can be something nice, it's a little bit more beat, I would say. <laughs> but much more scary is such an application. This is now Facebook linked with AR. You go on the street, you approach some people, and this is the information you might get off, because all this information that you read here is available in one of the social networks. So the application has just to read it and put it together into the now, and that's the place. Or, ideal for everybody who is a thief, next time when you go on your Facebook or your Twitter and say, I'm off to holiday, three weeks badge, that's not a good idea. The thief will be out there and having his AR application and knows, okay, two weeks, free house. <laughs> but still, all I can say is, um, it is there, the human technology, the friendly internet, and I really think uh, it's up to you to make it happen. And I hope I kept the 18 minutes, at the home it was 22, so... I would like to thank you very much for your attention and I hope I could give you some ideas. Thank you.